because we are in we the sort of mission in control, aren't we? What was known as uh, Flight Control Room 2, because it's on the second floor. Uh -huh. So these rooms were used back in the Gemini, Apollo, and shuttle days interchangeably. You can see on the wall behind us, um, plaques for all the various missions that flew out of this space. So, so, so you... this, this room lasted a little because you went from what, Gemini would be the earliest, mm -hmm, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. All the way through to the shuttle missions. Exactly. Wow. So this is our National Historic Landmark here at the Johnson Space Center. So that, which means this can't get changed, I suppose, exactly. right? Is that like, yeah. Exactly. Okay. So other things to notice about this room, you see the flag on the wall back there. Uh -huh. That's a flag that first flew on this building, then it flew to the moon, and then they brought it back here and gave it back to us again. And so... Oh, I didn't know that. I would have absolutely. tried to jump and touch it. <laughs> I think the disservice we kind of do ourselves is we have the, the rocket launches and the shuttle launches and the shuttle imagery and all of that is so fascinating and it really captures your imagination. We don't do as good a job of translating what we do in this room sure. because there's so many ways that you can get involved yeah. and so many ways that you can become engaged from any different number of, of, of types of background and training and it's not all engineers. It's incredible enough to see now how you guys do it, mm -hmm. but when you look about how they did it then, oh, it was it's, only like... It's what? amazing. It's absolutely amazing. I have trouble believing it. When you think about the fact that the computers on the spaceships were probably less complicated than... Well, we're definitely less complicated than your phone. Yeah. And I would say that we're, we're gradually over the years, you know, over you know, 10 years or more, learning how to give them the flexibility to manage their day a little better. Space and the, kind of the dream of space has tied the nations together, tied nations that in a lot of other ways didn't get along very yeah. well together in ways that almost nothing else has yeah. been able to. It's just, it's a gift. I think every single person that's come here dreams of pushing the boundaries and, and getting further and further away and and visiting, going back to the moon and this time really staying a while. Like we stayed pretty much to the extent of our capability at the time and we really couldn't stay a whole lot longer based on what we knew back then. So ideally, 45 years from now, 50 years from now, we'd be doing that again. We would have gone farther than any of us could possibly today imagine that we would have accomplished by yeah. that time. It's exciting, isn't it? Um, this is our first morning here. Uh, it's a few days before we start filming, uh, so we're just sort of having a little recce look around. And uh, this is what.